Today we're going to take a look at how to use the accelerometer on your microbit. The accelerometer is a sensor that is built into the back of the microbit and is used to detect the amount of acceleration when the microbit is tilted to the left, right, forward, or back. So one of the things I will need you to take a look at is on the right hand side of our flow chart, you're going to see a little diagram of our microbit and how the acceleration actually works. As your microbit is laying flat on the table, if we tilt the microbit to either the left or right, we are going to address the acceleration on the x-axis. If we tilt it forward or backwards, we're now looking at using the y-axis. The values for your x and y-axis range from 1023 all the way down to a negative 1023. If the microbit is sitting flat on the table, then it would have a value of zero. So tilting your microbit to the left, it would be a negative 1023, and to the right, it would be a positive 1023. If we tilt it forward, we would get a negative 1023 on the y-axis versus a positive 1023 if we tilted back. So we're gonna look at how to use the emulator and our actual micro bit to get this to work. So taking a look at our flow chart, what we have here is a forever loop, so our program will continue forever, and we're gonna have multiple statements here. So we're looking at, we have an if, 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 and another if with a clear screen. Now looking at that, we know that we should never really use multiple if statements. So anytime we use our first if, everything below that is gonna be considered to be an else if or an else. So taking a look at this, what we're gonna go ahead and do is if the acceleration on the y-axis is less than negative 650, we're gonna go ahead and show an arrow to the north. If the acceleration on the y-axis is greater than 650, meaning we're tilting it back, we're gonna see an arrow point down or to the south. If an acceleration on the x-axis is less than negative 650, we're gonna show an arrow to the west. So if we tilt our micro bit to the left, we see an arrow pointing to the left. And then our last one would be if it is greater than 650 on the x-axis, we're gonna get an arrow to point to the east or to the right. Anything in between that should clear the screen for us. So taking a look at our flow chart, we're gonna go ahead over to make code. And right now we can see that we have one if statement. We're gonna need an else if, a second else if, a third else if, and then our clear screen is gonna happen when none of those are true, which means that is gonna be our else statement. So it looks like we're gonna need one if, three else ifs, and an else statement to complete this code. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of our on start, and you can see I've already titled my program accelerometer. And we're gonna go ahead and bring in our logic statements. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in this if else in and use the plus sign to add an else if, a second else if, and a third. So now we have our first if statement, the three else ifs, and then my last condition, which is the else. So looking at our flow chart, the first thing we wanna look at is what happens if the acceleration is less than negative 650. We want to show the arrow north. So we can kind of go ahead and fill in our show, our show arrows right off the bat. So the first thing we want to kind of go ahead and look at is if we go under our actual icons, um, we have a couple different options here. You have a show icon that we can use. And if we look here, we also have this show arrow where we can select north, south, east, west, and all of them. So we can go ahead and use these. We want to show the arrow north first, okay? Second one was south, so we can go ahead and duplicate this and drop in our south. Then we have a west, and the last is our east. And we know that our L statement, we want to clear the screen if none of them are actually true. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my clear screen in. Now what we need to do is create the conditions that will allow my north, south, east, and west arrows to actually appear on the micro bit. An accelerometer is a type of an input. So you will see that you do have this acceleration um, input block that we can use. Just like the light level, we're going to need to create some logic statements here. So we're using the comparison of greater or less than. So we're going to go ahead and copy a few of those and go ahead and drop them into our program. So here you can see we're just creating zero is less than zero, which when we talked about before, we know that that is not a true statement. So nothing should really appear on my micro bit at this time. 
Now, looking at this, you can see that the first one we are addressing the Y, our else if is a Y, and then our next two are addressing the X. So when we go ahead and create this, we're going to want to go ahead and bring in that acceleration. And when you bring in that acceleration, we can change the X, Y, and Z, as well as the strength. We'll address the Z and the strength axis later on in a different video. For right now, we're going to take a look at the acceleration on the Y axis. And you will see that once that's dropped in, you are now going to see that we can manipulate the micro bit to get different values based on how we tilt it. Based off of our flow chart, we're basically saying if the acceleration is less than negative 650, that's when we're going to see that north. So we need to address that negative 650 here. And when we do that, we should have our first condition. So if we tilt this to up for as far as forward, we should be able to get that value to change. And as you see, that value right now is a negative 1023, which means that if statement is a true statement. That's why we get our north sign. Now we're going to go ahead and continue that for the rest of these by adding another acceleration on the Y. We can add an acceleration for the next two, but they're going to be on the X axis. So we'll drop them into our zeros. Now at this point, we have multiple conditions, but we still have to fill out what are we comparing the acceleration to. So our, sec our first else if statement is saying, well, what if it is greater than 650? So we do need to flip our less than sign to greater than and change that to a positive 650. Now we should be able to go between an up and a down arrow based off of what our conditions are reading. So if we basically tilt the micro bit forward, we should get an up arrow to the north. And if we tilt it down, we should get a down arrow to the south. Now we still have to go ahead and address the second and third else ifs, and that is on the x-axis, which would be side to side. So the second else if that we have is basically asking us if it's less than negative 650. So again, we're going to have our less than negative 650. And for the last one, we have a positive 650, and we want to change that to be greater than. At this time, we should have a completed code that should work based on how we're using the accelerometer on our micro bit. So again, if I tilt this micro bit to the right, I should get an arrow to the right. If I tilt it to the left, I should get an arrow to the left. If I tilt it forward, I get the up to the north, and down should be to the south. Now, once you test your code and everything seems to be working on the emulator, you'll want to make sure that you not only name your program, but we save it, then download this to our micro bit and test it on our actual device.